Welcome back to another Design League playthrough, and this one is from Fizzbang, and with a name like that, it's got to be good. Um, we've got a more open Parkland sort of look, which I really appreciate. Like, we don't see huge amounts of this sort of course in game because it's not as. I guess it doesn't tend to have the wow factor as much as some other courses, but there are guys who do such a good job of this. CSU Golfer is probably the one who comes to mind first and foremost. Um, but Mad F and I think Terry Grayson also do a fantastic job of this style of course. Um, so I'm interested to leap in and see how it works. Like we've got some awesome off course stuff which I'm not going to go into too much, but it's nice to see little towns and things and making it feel like the course belongs a bit. So yeah, leaping down to the first tee and okay, and I can see how you've outlined the whole thing with Cart Path just to make our lives nice and easy. Okay. And we have got a big slope on this first tee shot. I think that's probably a bit severe. Um, I'd be suggesting you cut that by half. Like 13 feet is huge, and you want a very wide tee, uh, fair way to accommodate that. Particularly when you've got bunkers here. We're basically saying that. I mean, there's almost. I'm not going to say no way to hold this side of the fairway, but you're basically making this part in the middle pretty much unplayable. Yeah, see how it plays. I really like the planting in front of the tee. The whole side I can leave or I can take or leave, but the water planting is really good. That looks natural, understated, just classy. Which I think is what this sort of course should be all about. Yeah, I had to try to take on that bunker. So into the first par 4 and we've got 205 yards uphill from a very deep bunker that I'm not sure if I can get out of with 4 iron. I feel like this is maybe a touch punitive but we'll see how it goes. We can get out of it. Happy days. And just about make it. Green slopes are decent. I think the main thing I'd be p picking up on is some of the sculpting I think you can just be a bit softer with, like this spine here is going to block part of the bunker and then it feeds down, it's all just a bit harsh. Um, equally I think your bunker shapes are on a parking course where you've got less to work with visually with the planting. I think what you've done is really nice here by the way, but I think your bunkers have to really sh stand out in terms of shapes, like look at Matt F's or, or, or Dario's, they look great and really clean good shapes. I think these ones are just kind of they're kind of there as in they're bunkers but they're they're basically just a bit blob like like have some more in indentations things like that. Oh, that needs to go a little oh need to slow down okay not too bad but again I do like the planting you've done the tree choices are really good this brown tree that you've used a couple of times this one here I think adds a lot just in terms of a slightly different colour palette. Alright, we're kind of heading away from the parkland style and something a bit a bit weirder. I'm not... Is this meant to be an option on this hole? This hole feels a bit disjointed and forced. Like we're... I think I can see what we're doing, where we're playing to different greens across different... I had a similar comment on, I'm trying to remember who's, I think it was Tanman's, where like, I don't dislike this idea, but I don't feel that a Parkland course is necessarily the place for this. Like where we've got joined up fairways and it, this is the sort of thing that belongs on a Lynx course. Oh, we're going to go in the water, aren't we? Oh no, got away with that. It belongs on like a Lynx course or something far more rugged, whereas Parkland, we're kind of thinking clean manicured like more straightforward hole designs and do those do just do simple really really well i'm not saying that that's like a all parklands must be like that but it's going to take a it's going to take fantastic execution to make this not feel jarring i guess um yeah i think that's the way i put it trying to do this with my little one on me having a little sleep so apologies if we get interrupted 
she was good through the first one this one slightly less so again this planting I really like um, just the more of that you're doing the better huh that must have had a really weird lie Otherwise, good, good pop up. There was risk reward on the tee shot. I, oh, I like this one a lot. See, when I think when you've got your holes just kind of in isolation, they make a lot of sense. It was that that second one that just feels a bit more disjointed. Like your first was entirely self-contained. This looks great. Like the water planting you've done is really nice. I think, yep, bunkers could use popping just a little more. The little town in the background's perfect. Where you've been. Like where you're choosing to plant to frame your holes is really good, um, and that's not that's not always easy. Okay, we got the swing we wanted. Hopefully, it comes off that little slope and just filters down slightly. Um, also, haven't really commented on the green so far. Like, there's a good amount of slope, but I think used really well. There's clearly a variety of pin positions. Slopes can function in different ways. I think it all makes sense so far. Oh, that needs to turn big time. I'm enjoying this one so far. I'm intrigued to see when we get back to that like central area again. Yeah, so we're going here again and it's just like you're hitting across other holes and I, this just all feels a little awkward and like if you were going to route a golf course around this feature, you wouldn't do it like this. It's just all sorts of danger. I get that this is for fun and like it is creating options, but I just think we can do that a little better. Oh, not a great shot. Let's try and go way left, way right of that. Again, though, water planting looks really, really good. Ooh. I think I might have brought your planting in just out of this tree line in this dip a bit more. Typically trying to plant dips and rises works well. Also I think your tree line's coming just a bit close to the green here. Like not a deal breaker by any means. But yeah, another, like, it, it's a well-conceived hole. I think I'm more finding the idea doesn't quite work than actually the whole design itself. This one I like. I, I like that you're basically challenging us to just hit at bunkers and downwind your mat. Draw it a little bit. Um, this is more of a parkland course hole that I would expect to see. and I, I think it works well. That's not a good tee shot. Please find the bunker. There you go. I mean, it does beg, beg the question downwind. If I have the shorter driver, would I be able to? Uh, that would be one of the things that I'm thinking of. Like, if let's say I'm playing a 270 driver, what shot are you forcing someone to hit into this green? It's a tough hole. Like, I think with the, with the driver I'm using, it's completely fair. I would just want to be thinking about the other people who aren't necessarily using the longest driver. Oh, I'm making an absolute mess of this one as well. Sneaky tough course. But yeah, I mean, I think the idea is that the like, sculpting, other than that first hole, has been pretty good. I think you can improve your sightline slightly by dipping this bit of land down a touch so that we can see the other side. Because, okay, yeah, again, we're playing over that water hazard and. That's a really risky tee shot, particularly if this was the landing zone for another one of the holes. Like using the same landing zone exactly for two holes is not... I, I wouldn't say it's something I'd advise doing. 
Ooh, sculpting gets a bit weird there. You can see how we just run off. And I think... Let's just skip back to a chip so that I can zoom around. My suspicion is that that's because you've sunk the land to put the bridge there and make that work. If that's the case, you've got to flatten it out so it rolls down like a bit more gently. Oh, we're going to have to wrap this playthrough up pretty quickly, but that's okay. We're nearly there. Again, that planting around the back is kind of the same comments everywhere. I really like the water planting. I really like the little groves and clumps of trees, and the grasses, thick grasses work really nicely. I think the areas where I'd cite to kind of be focusing on big bits of sculpting, bunker shapes, and just that, like, stick to the... Stick to the one philosophy with the course. We've gone for two completely different like types of hole with these middle ones that all play across that little crisscrossing area. There's a swing. And then um, the more standard parkland course holes, which I think work much, much better. Oh, that might need to slow down. The little clubhouse area is designed really nicely that and well integrated, like it makes sense where it is. Ah, I'm going to finish with another bogey. Okay, Lily, it's all right. And I am going to have to go and do some parenting. Um, for the most part, I really enjoyed that. Like I say, there's lots to like in terms of designs, in terms of how you plant it. Overall idea, I think, is good. There's that one big bit in the middle that I just don't... That I, for me, it doesn't work. It might work for others, but it feels a bit contrived, and certainly it feels like two courses of three holes each really um like the parkland holes and then the wacky middle ones um but anyway best of luck with the contest and <laughs> and we'll see you next time when hopefully i'm competing for attention a little bit less see you later